ever pondered what makes Bhutan so distinctive? This unique kingdom, nestled high in the eastern ridges of the Himalayas, is often referred to as the Land of the Thunder Dragon, a title as dramatic and compelling as the nation itself. Bhutan, unlike anywhere else, is a place where culture and tradition are not just preserved but celebrated with vibrancy. But what is it that truly sets this land apart? Geographically, Bhutan is a marvel. It's a landlocked haven, bordered by China to the north and India to the south, east, and west. Its strategic location offers a blend of stunning landscapes, from towering mountains to lush valleys, making it a haven for nature lovers. Known for its commitment to peace, happiness, and environmental conservation, Bhutan stands as a beacon of hope in a world that often forgets the importance of balance. So are you ready to delve into the heart of this extraordinary kingdom? Join us on an unforgettable journey to explore the hidden treasures of Bhutan. Who are the people that call this hidden gem their home? In the heart of the Himalayas, Bhutan cradles a population that's just shy of a million. This small nation is a mosaic of diverse ethnic groups, with the Bote, Ningalop, and Sharchop being the most prominent. Each brings their unique customs, traditions, and dialects, painting a rich cultural tapestry. Among the many languages spoken here, Dzongka reigns as the official language. Derived from the ancient scripts of Tibet, Dzongka is deeply intertwined with Bhutan's history and Buddhist practices. It's more than just a means of communication. It's a testament to Bhutan's rich cultural heritage and spiritual depth. Despite the linguistic diversity, English is widely understood, especially in urban areas and among the younger population. This is a testament to Bhutan's commitment to modern education while preserving its rich cultural heritage. Language is, after all, a doorway to understanding a culture. How is it like to experience the seasons in Bhutan? Well, let's dive into it. Bhutan offers a climate as diverse as its landscapes. Nestled in the eastern Himalayas, this land of the Thunder Dragon experiences a wide climate range, from subtropical warmth in the south to cold, snowy winters in the north. Each season paints a different picture. Spring, from March to May, brings vibrant blooms of rhododendrons, painting the mountains in a riot of colors. Summer, between June and August, is marked by monsoons, a season of lush greenery and thunderous rainfalls. As the monsoons recede, autumn steps in from September to November, with clear blue skies and comfortable temperatures, perfect for trekking. Winter, from December to February, cloaks the northern regions in a blanket of snow, while the South enjoys mild and dry weather. These variations in climate greatly impact the local lifestyle, from agriculture to traditional festivities. The climate sets the stage for a unique Bhutanese experience. What's the heart of Bhutan like, you might ask? Well, it pulses with the vibrant energy of Thimphu, the capital city. Nestled in the western central part of the country, Thimphu is the beating heart of Bhutan. It's a city where the old and the new exist in harmony, where the traditional dzongs or fortresses stand tall alongside modern buildings, a testament to the city's rich history and its embrace of the future. Thimphu is not just the political hub, it's also the cultural nucleus of the country. From the elegant National Textile Museum that showcases the art of Bhutanese weaving, to the bustling centenary farmer's market, Thimphu is a city that is as diverse as it is unique. The city's importance cannot be overstated. It's a city that's alive with the spirit of Bhutan, a city that's a microcosm of the country itself. Thimphu, a city where tradition and modernity coexist. What powers the land of the Thunder Dragon, you ask? Well, it's a blend of traditional and modern, much like Bhutan itself. Bhutan's economy is a vibrant tapestry woven with sectors such as agriculture, tourism, and hydroelectricity. Agriculture is the primary livelihood for over 60% of the population, with farming of rice, maize, and dairy forming the backbone. However, the star of the show is tourism. The concept of high-value, low-impact tourism has not only boosted the economy, but also preserved the country's unique culture and pristine environment. Then we have the hydropower sector, a powerhouse in its own right, generating surplus electricity that's exported to neighboring countries. When it comes to currency, the Bhutanese and Gultram, pegged to the Indian rupee, is the national currency. But don't worry, most places also accept Indian rupees. And there you have it, the economic engine of Bhutan, 
a country that measures its success not just in gross domestic product, but in gross national happiness. A sustainable economy for a sustainable future. What makes Bhutanese culture so vibrant? Well, delve into the heart of Bhutan, and you'll uncover a rich tapestry of traditions and festivals that color every aspect of life. Here, traditions aren't just remnants of the past, they're living, breathing aspects of Bhutanese life that shape the nation's identity. And what's Bhutan without its festivals, right? Let's start with the most significant, Chechu. Held annually in various temples, monasteries, and dzongs across the country, Chechu is a spiritual celebration in honor of Guru Rinpoche, who brought Buddhism to Bhutan. These festivals are a riot of color and dance, where monks and laymen alike participate in vibrant masked dances and enactments. They're not just religious events, mind you. They're also social gatherings, a chance for communities to come together, to reaffirm their faith, and to receive blessings. Next, there's Losar, or the Bhutanese New Year. Celebrated over several days, it's a time of family gatherings, feasts, and merriment. Homes are cleaned, traditional meals are prepared, and families get together to welcome in the new year with joy and festivity. But it's not all about grand celebrations. Bhutan also cherishes its day-to-day -day traditions. Take, for instance, the traditional art of thanka painting, or the spiritual practice of meditation and prayer in zongs, or the age-old customs of respect, like the bowing and prostration to elders and religious figures. These everyday traditions are the threads that weave the Bhutanese way of life. And let's not forget the national dress code, Driglam Namja. It's a testament to Bhutan's commitment to preserving its heritage. Men wear the go, a knee-length robe tied at the waist, and women wear the kira, an ankle-length dress accompanied by a light outer jacket known as a tego. In Bhutan, traditions and festivals aren't just about maintaining a link to the past. They're about fostering a sense of community, instilling a sense of national identity, and ensuring the continuity of the Bhutanese way of life. Traditions and festivals, the soul of Bhutan. Ready for a culinary adventure? Let's dive into the unique cuisine of Bhutan, a delicious blend of flavors that truly embodies this country's vibrant culture. Bhutanese dishes are renowned for their spiciness, with chili peppers often taking center stage. Ima dachi, a fiery mix of chili and cheese, is a national favorite. It's served with red rice, the staple food of Bhutan. Next up is Jasha Maru, a spicy chicken stew that's sure to warm your heart and your palate. And for those with a sweet tooth, hoente, buckwheat dumplings filled with cheese and spinach, is a must-try. But what's a meal without a drink? Bhutan offers ara, a traditional fermented beverage often served during special occasions. Made from rice, wheat, maize, or barley, it's a delightful accompaniment to any meal. From fiery chilies to comforting stews, Bhutanese cuisine is a fascinating exploration of taste. Food, a reflection of Bhutan's rich cultural heritage. Ready to uncover Bhutan's best-kept secrets? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey through the top 10 must-see attractions in Bhutan. First up, we have the iconic Tiger's Nest Monastery, or Paro Taksang. Perched precariously on a cliff's edge, this sacred Buddhist site is a testament to Bhutan's rich religious history and the willpower of its people. The hike up is no walk in the park, but the stunning views and serene atmosphere make it all worthwhile. Next on our list is Punaka Dzong, a majestic fortress that once served as the royal seat of the government. Its intricate architecture and beautiful murals are a sight to behold. Visit during spring to witness the Dzong in all its glory, surrounded by blooming jacaranda trees. Number three is the Buddha Dordanma statue, an awe-inspiring gilded monument towering over the capital city of Thimphu. This giant Buddha statue not only offers a spiritual retreat, but also provides panoramic views of the city below. At number four, we find the Pobjika Valley, a tranquil haven for nature lovers. It's also home to the rare black-necked cranes that migrate here during winter. A visit here is a perfect opportunity to disconnect from the hustle and bustle and reconnect with nature. The fifth must-see attraction is the Dachila Pass. This mountain pass offers breathtaking views of the Himalayas, and the 108 Memorial Chortons add a spiritual dimension to the natural beauty. Moving on, number six is the Chele La Pass, the highest motorable pass in Bhutan. Winding roads amidst lush greenery lead you to a spectacular view of the snow-capped mountains. Don't forget to pack some warm clothes. Next, at number seven, 
we have the Rinpeng Zong, a fortress monastery that overlooks the Paro Valley. This Zong is an architectural wonder, with towering walls and intricate woodwork. At number 8, we find the Jigme Dorji National Park. This park is a treasure trove of biodiversity, housing several endangered species. If you're lucky, you might even spot a snow leopard. Number 9 is the Chomalhari Trek, one of Bhutan's most challenging yet rewarding treks. The path takes you through diverse landscapes, from rice fields to glacial valleys, and the view of the majestic Mount Chomalhari is simply unforgettable. Last but not least, at number 10, we have the Folk Heritage Museum in Thimphu. Here, you can immerse yourself in Bhutan's traditional rural life, from food to folk medicine. It's a fascinating peek into the country's past. And there you have it, the top 10 must-see attractions in Bhutan. From ancient monasteries and fortresses to breathtaking nature parks, Bhutan truly is a paradise for the curious and adventurous. Bhutan, a world within a world. A land of ancient traditions and vibrant festivals, where the official language, Dzongka, echoes through the mountainous landscape. A country that boasts a unique cuisine, rich in flavor and tradition, where the chilies are not just a spice, but the main ingredient. The capital, Thimphu, a city that seamlessly blends the old with the new, is a testament to Bhutan's progressive yet deeply rooted identity. The climate, ranging from subtropical plains to steep mountains and valleys, offers a diverse array of experiences. The economy, driven by agriculture, tourism, and the sale of hydroelectric power, reflects the country's self-sufficient and sustainable ethos. And let's not forget the top 10 attractions that make Bhutan a must-visit destination. From the majestic Tiger's Nest Monastery perched high on a cliff, to the serene beauty of Phobjika Valley and the bustling markets of Thimphu. Unlock the mysteries of Bhutan where happiness is a place.